Like many college seniors, the founders of Down East Cider had no idea what they wanted to do after graduation. So during their senior year at Bates College in Maine, they decided to work on a passion of theirs, which gradually grew into a full-blown business. I was a philosophy major. The other guys had equally useless majors towards getting any kind of job. We started talking about hard cider, and the idea kind of rolled from there. The aim of Down East Cider is to bridge the gap between the few large companies that dominate the industry and the small quality cider brands that only make a few limited runs a year. What we wanted to do was make a hard cider that was kind of um, of the quality that we were used to drinking, like sweet cider from the farm. We used the apples that we grew up eating and drinking and were familiar to us. In order to help achieve this level of quality and familiar taste, the company uses only local New England apples. Their two current blends contain about 50% Macintosh apples, with other various local varieties rounding it out. We, we felt it was, it was better to just use local fruit, support local farmers. We went that route. Down East Cider started small, doing the entire apple pressing and fermenting process by hand on a friend's orchard in Maine, steadily growing until they reached the small square warehouse space in Charlestown, Massachusetts, that the business currently inhabits. Although the apples aren't pressed in-house, the rest of the cider production takes place right behind me. It all starts when out in Western Mass, that's where the apples are pressed into cider and they're brought here and it pulls up on the other side of this door, there's a loading dock and basically there's a pump on the truck which will pump all the cider in and it'll go directly into normally one or two of these tanks. The entire fermenting process takes over a week. Tannin, yeast, and yeast nutrient are added to the pressed apples, and over the seven to nine days that the cider is in the tank, the sugars turn to alcohol. And before it's packaged in either cans or kegs, it's uh, sent through this weird looking thing called the pasteurizer. Um, the pasteurizer basically makes sure the cider is safe for consumption. The cider gets carbonated and is then ready to be packed. They come in these pallets of 8,160 cans. Kind of hard to deal with because they're like strapped in, but once you cut the straps, you basically, there's a chance that the whole thing could fall over and you'd have 8,160 cans all over the floor. And um, it hasn't happened to us yet, but we've heard about it happening. And uh, that's pretty much my biggest fear. The canning machine fills about 30 cans per minute with cider, which are then removed by hand to be placed into unique four packs. Once completed, cans and kegs are sent off to 1,500 accounts held throughout New England. The first accounts were locked down in a way that is far from conventional. Put the cider in those bottles and then go walk around whatever towns. We didn't know, it, it might have been illegal to like sell alcohol, so we, we actually would have bags of cider. See a place and I'd be like, that looks like the kind of place that we could, that maybe would serve our cider. So i take the bag and I'd like hide it in the bushes. They said, yeah, then I'd be like, all right, hold on a second. And I'd go back outside and I'd grab the bottles um, and I'd open it up and pour a sample. Their cider business is riding the waves of the craft beer industry that started about 30 years ago. Down East looks at it as their job to step up and help bring hard cider out onto a larger scale. Their Boston location helps with this. People here are, are open to trying new stuff and local stuff. The younger college, post-college um, people in Somerville and Cambridge and Boston in general, absolutely full of them. You know, they've been, they've grown up in this in the drinking atmosphere of, you know, let's try all sorts of good local breweries and cideries and, and you don't really have to pigeonhole yourself. Down East Cider plans to expand into New York in the coming year, as well as release a few new flavors, including a hard lemonade. For BUTV, I'm Carolyn Maynard.